Getting updates. The game is well alive and it is great. Yeah, yeah. yeah so it looks like they're going right into it. Yep, we got the fist bump acknowledgement. Here we go. Let's get ready for the first match of top four. Winner's Ooh, final finals. side. It's Zazel versus Twixie. Awesome. All right, so here we go. Round one, starting us off with the zoning. Trying to keep him up with those five wides right there. Now, Zazel is going to definitely have to block a lot of these attacks right now. Twixie winning first field phase, something that is not shy in this matchup. Yep. Azazel not phased at all, even from that hex, is something that he's probably going to have to hold on to a lot. But, of course, for those that don't already know, this is a matchup that is definitely in Chandelure's favor. And Twixie is showing us that he is not afraid to show to throw out as many hexes as he possibly needs to. And he can. He There's nothing that Zazel can do at that range to punish it. He can only tech, and if he doesn't get the right read, he's going to eat more damage. Right, just like that. And taking the first round, perfect victory, quickly picking Espeon right there to Twixie. Twixie immediately winning field phase once again. Azazel is going to have to put in a lot of work in this matchup. Oh, He's got nice. 660 HP to work with. All right, I like that grab, putting the debuff onto Azazel. Azazel's going to have to work really hard for this one. Going right through the smog. Oh, and the critical grab. This is going to hurt a little bit. That is huge because now he is way closer to Chandelure. He can get in and start applying pressure. Yep, trying to go in from the skies. Not enough. Nice 8Y. From Twixie. Here we go. Trying to keep the distance. Amolga is going to. Oh, it just avoided it just like that. Wow. Instead of taking the shield break, he took the damage, which, if he can win another phase, he can get burst, which will be huge. Oh, and catches wow. him right at the end with that overheat. Really good stuff. Oh, taking the debuffs away with Espeon. Fully charged on the Popums, gets him up in the air, right back to his perspective. Twixie with the first game convincingly. To all that first game, and honestly, I really can't even say what Zazel can do differently because that was just so convincing in Twixie's favor, so dominant in that field phase. Honestly, I think what Azazel's gonna have to do is, um, obviously we all know he's gonna have to um, block a lot. He's gonna have to slowly approach, inch his way in. But of course, as a Machamp, you can't just automatically throw out a button as soon as you think you have the opportunity. I think he's gonna have to think outside of the, the uh, outside of the box and play like out of the normal, if you will, against uh, Chandelure. You have to just throw Twixie off his game completely. He's gonna have to condition Twixie and go through a obstacle course. Oh yeah, definitely, definitely, definitely. So, but hey, you know what? When there's condition, there is shampoo. We're gonna get clean wow. today. Okay, here Switching we go. Switching to Mewtwo. Azazel also does have a Sceptile, which is a very bad matchup for Chandelure, but he's been using Mewtwo a lot lately. Oh yeah, this is this is something that is very uh, well seen in a lot of uh, high level players. You'll definitely see a lot of guys, they will be using other characters. They won't just stick to their one. Mewtwo being a very common pocket character as well as Lucario. Both characters just don't really have that many bad matchups right. and have overall tools that allow them to just kind of cover their main bad matchups. Yep, all right, in the homing attack approach, fully commits to it, puts Twixie up against the wall, nice. Going right up there. Oh, drops a combo, but that's okay. He's in a really good position now. Okay, Twixie trying to go for the overheat and the... Going for the 2x. Yup, 2x right there. Mew gonna give him one little buff. Oh, interesting. I've wow. never seen overheat used like that, Ed. Twixie was in such a bad position and Zazel had a full health bar. And then within two guesses, Twixie just completely evened it up and took the wow. round. Wow, just like that, turned it all around. And it's crazy, he had that uh, that discolorization and no buffs. That was actually interesting. I don't know if you saw that at the end there. I did, and Mew is definitely a very good support choice for Chandelure because if Chandelure can erase the debuff from overheat using Mew and get a buff and get an even stronger overheat or even just better neutral options. Ooh, okay, catches him in the air. Nice, but drops the combo again. Keeping him at the wall, though. Yep. Taking the majority of his health bar once again. Infield is, is a better position for Mewtwo. Not phased at all is Twixie with that homing attack. And into the Hex. He's sitting on full synergy and the Mew. What's the next mix up here? Azazel also sitting on burst already. And it's only round two. Something that's very unknown to Mewtwo. Okay, goes in with the fire punch there. Holds block. Both players just being incredibly patient, just waiting for one or the other to press a button. 
Yup. Yep, just again. like that, Azazel can take this round. No, the face shift. Face shift saved Quixie here. He has a second chance at life now. Activating the burst, pushing Azazel away. Okay, good EV to close out the round with the side strike. Very good patience from Azazel. Just saying, I'm going to let you push me back. I'll take the distance, and I'm going to use it to my advantage. Okay, nice smog to push him away. This, that's the thing. Twix is going to have to keep Azazel out, just like with any other character he's facing. And good punish on the smog. You can punish the second hit of the tribe punch attack that Mewtwo has. Ooh, nice. Azazel, once again, also sitting on burst. Ooh, okay, another smog. Twixie as well, too. Wow, Smog is his best friend right now. You have to watch out for that range. Definitely you don't want to be in that Hex range. It's very confusing, but really good stuff by Azazel. Moving in on this combo, giving him the nice bread and butter, easy peasy. Oh, and the homing attack going right back into the dual phase like we were, we never left. Twitzy forced the burst just to relieve this pressure. That is going to confirm and take away a nice chunk of Azazel's health. All right, here we go, right into this nice burst. Going into the shadows, into the darkness. The light flickering. Wow, and now he is going to be double debuffed as well. Zazel probably going to be forced to burst just to be able to get enough damage to close this. Yep, and he is sitting on a Mew, so if he needs it, he definitely has that. Here we go. Gets a little bit. Oh no, gets the attack buff only. Oh no, not enough to kill. Definitely in a better position. Okay, Twixie with the. Oh, and just like that with the 2x. Zazel using 2y no, to close sorry. it out. Both players now 1 1. Azazel saying Machamp was not working. I'm just going to play this incredible. It's just such a better matchup. It definitely such is. Such a strong character. And it's showing. Yeah, you have to respect the decision um, from Azazel. Recognizing that, you know what? Even though I can beat other Chandeleurs, Twixie really has this matchup down pack. He really understands that I can't do anything, really. So I'm just going to pick a, a better character in this situation. Also, I believe this is the first time both these players are playing each other. Oh, yeah, in bracket, definitely. But Twixie. let's see if this is going to be anybody's game or if Twixie now has a game plan versus his Mewtwo. I like the respect from both players holding block in front of their faces right now. But Twixie backing them off with the smog. I like that, that, that dash back there. Oh, but Azazel moving in on him. Okay, he's going to be up against the wall. Not going to get any confirms, but he has the positioning. He is kept against the wall, though, which means Azazel can milk a little bit more damage out of his face, but Twixie reading the grab and going straight for the overheat. Oh, nice overheat with the Mew getting uh, an attack buff out of that. Really nice. Okay, fully laser. Azazel sitting on Eevee, so he can get a little bit of his HP back, as well as the attack buff. I and like that the, jump. With the attack buff, he might be able to just close this out with one combo. Uh, he tried to go for the soft version of the overheat. Definitely not safe, but he had... Uh, oh, actually, no, he didn't have the light. Wow. Oh, that's going to hurt, and probably going to kill. Normally, in situations like that, you see the Mewtwo go for the fire spin. Knowing that Chandelure can minimize it, it would still be a free grab for him. So it is yep. kind of odd that he didn't go for fire spin, then Eevee for oh, the yeah. mix-up. But he did take the round. That is what counts. Good awareness from Twixie, opening him up with that 5Y. All right, watch the hex range. Oh, Azazel. Control B, this man was bold. He tried to hit him with the Hyper Beam. Twixie was ready for it, though. That is going to confirm, and it's going to allow him to carry him all the way to the wall. And he's going to get a little bit of extra damage from that wall splat. Nice. Bring him right down to 282. Nice homing attack. Bring him all the way down to 168. OK. Nice punish from Twixie. Azazel moving in on him, Ooh, but Twixie Twixi. again. Oh, and he grabbed his tail with the Hex there. This is definitely going to be enough to kill with that shield debuff. And that round going to Twixie right now. This can actually go either way right now here in this winner's final. So this is a three out of five. Both these players are such high caliber players as well. Their reactions and their patience are just crazy. Twixie being able to cancel 5Y on reaction to Fire Punch with Smog is just phenomenal. Oh yeah, definitely. Here you go, backing up with that swing into the laser. Putting him right into that hex range. You gotta be careful with this range right here. Oh, Twixie not able to punish the 6X though. Okay, jumping over. Azazel trying to dash in, grab. Oh wait, oh wow, a lot of avoidance here from both players. Azazel getting some some, some hits here. Oh, okay, good grab. Go straight for the grab. In a situation like this, Azazel is also sitting on burst where when you're playing as Mewtwo at burst, that is essentially a checkmate tool. All right, Mew taking one of the debuffs away. Giving the attack buff in return. Azazel still has Eevee as well. 
you want to attack on some extra damage. And sitting on a full meter of synergy. Oh no! Dropping the combo though, Zazel still is not out of this fight. Oh! That grab. That grab's definitely in, gonna put him in a, in a worse position right now. He's gotta be super careful what he does. The defense buff is gonna allow it, so even though he is bursted, he can easily lose to a laser right now. Twixie gonna be forced to burst just to keep him off, probably stall out his burst as well. Yep, if Twixie wants to take this, he definitely wants, in that insurance win, he's gonna have to do his best to keep him out. And just like that, pops him right at the sky. But Azazel has one more game to play with here to see if he can bring it back and have that nice warm seat ready for him in Grand Finals. And the thing is, like, it's not like Azazel is losing by Lancelot either. All these matches no, are anybody's not. game. Oh yeah, Azazel definitely. is playing out of his mind right now. So is Twixie. Yeah, you gotta appreciate the, the, the play from Twixie. Twixie, obviously, no stranger to all of the, the big majors here um, in the United States. And obviously, a huge shout out to Azazel coming all the way from Japan, competing in at EVO, the grand daddy of them all, the WrestleMania of all these fighting game tournaments right here. The biggest fighting game tournament known in the world. Yes. And now we are gonna go into game four. Yes, he's not looking phased at all. Just going right into the next game, sticking with Eevee, sticking with Mewtwo. Obviously, uh, recognizes that he's definitely not gonna do this well with Machamp. He's a good. That was a good use of Fire Punch mm -hmm. just to get in, and. It's Azazel is smart to just take the uh, shield break because Mewtwo gains meter so slow and not having any meter from the start, there's no reason not to take the shield break. He needs all the health he can have. Oh man, goes for the huh, the Roxo tech there. Shout out to Roxo if he's watching right now. He had the he had a double double buff. So if he went for the overheat again, he would not get um, the debuffs after that because of the Mew activation. Right now Twixie's sitting in such a strong position. He's keeping Azazel out. He's keeping him guessing in mid-range. And Azazel has almost no HP, but he's gonna get the 6X. All right. Again, that nice chunk of damage there, forcing Twixie to activate Burst in his first round already and Go going for a grab. Straight for the grab with 13 seconds on the clock. Can Azazel make anything happen right now? That's gonna close out the round. Yeah, lands right on it, just in time to close it out there. You have to be careful on the timing, though, because sometimes that can whiff. I've seen it before from Twixie. Right now, Twixie is sitting on tournament point to go yeah, to Grand Finals. Sitting pretty right now. Twixie, Twi very excited, too. Not even nervous. He's excited. This is his first Evo. Evo is what inspired him to get in the fighting games, especially Pokin. Oh, yeah, definitely. We have a whole story about that, too. This is... He is living the dream right now. Yeah, this is a long time coming build up for, for Twixie now. But cannot count Azazel out just yet, even though he has that Scarlet, oh, that Scarlet Shield turning into dual phase right here. Ooh, perfect spacing for the Hex. Azazel probably trying to tech the Hex, eating the laser, and now he's eating the Hex. Yeah, Twixie is really doing a great job mixing up all of his options right now. Not trying to fall into any kind of patterns that can be easily read. Really good stuff to Twixie. Wow, that almost took it out. Azazel almost being able to stuff out the overheat, but he was just a little bit too low. He's gonna have to work a miracle right now to save this round. Okay, Smog gonna go right back into the dual phase here. Oh, tried to hex him just out of the range was Azazel. Twixie just going straight for burst too. He's ready to close this out. Okay, it looked like Azazel clipped him a little that bit. That is gonna be it. Azazel just risking it all on that 6x. Saying, wow. you know what? This is only winner's finals. I still have a loser's run if I lose this. I don't know if you guys are seeing this, but Twixie literally looking back to the crowd and looking Twixie. around. Like, is this real life? Twixie looks amazed. I just beat Azazel? Is that is that what's going on right now? Twixie also now the first player to beat Azazel and send him to losers in America. Yep. Wow, this, that was actually incredible.